What's happening folks? Welcome back to Street Notes. I mentioned previously that I might not do these voiceover type things as much because it takes a little bit too much in editing and that's still the case but I think that people will miss the voiceover so I'm going to try and do it a little bit. Uh, I might just make it a little bit more spread out. So throughout this video I'm going to be looking for my usual light, colour, gestures, complex frames and subject separation, all that kind of thing. Uh, but I'll just talk about the pictures that I think are the most significant or my most favourites of the day. But otherwise, I'm just going to let this video play so you can just watch my process and kind of see how I work different scenes. <laughs> This was one of the first pictures I took relatively early in the Balloon Festival and it turned out really to be one of my favourites of the, of the whole thing. And I just, I love the blue in the background, I love the guy's cowboy hat just kind of chilling there. There's all those shadows against the balloon, those hands creeping into the edge of the frame give it something a little bit more interesting to me. I think I, at the time I thought it was going to kind of ruin the frame but it gives it maybe a surreal kind of look or something. Not exactly sure why the hands add to it, but but I think this is I think this is really cool, and I'm really happy with this picture. Working this scene a little bit, I thought that something great was going to come out of it. I felt like there was some really good potential there, but nothing really material. Balloon festivals are an absolute goldmine for just colours and shapes and gestures and busy scenes and complex shots but also simple shots. Uh, the, the trouble is they're so chaotic, they're constantly changing and there's nothing, you know, you can't hang out in one spot waiting for something to happen because once that balloon's inflated it's going to take off and it's out of there. So the scenes only last for so long. So it's kind of a panic, kind of a mad rush trying to figure stuff out on the fly but it's absolutely worth it. It'll be, be hidden behind my camera here, but I just it was a sudden last second shot. Uh, you don't see him because he's behind the camera, but that's the shot that came out. And I thought it was really cool. It looks like he's pointing at the camera, but it's a, I think it's a balloon behind me. Now 
this scene here, I didn't expect uh, to be as good as it was really. As, as I was shooting it, I realized the, uh, the trucks, the hood of the truck was reflecting the balloon quite a lot. And uh, I could sort of like minimize the stuff around it and just have this like little spots of light in the middle of the picture there and the people holding their hands up. So there's these kind of gestures. And you know, without having seen that GoPro footage, you, you it would be hard to almost t to really tell what was going on there, I think. And I just, I, I think uh, that kind of makes it, it's really cool. And uh, you know, maybe there could have been better gestures or something in there, but just the colors and those shapes alone and the way that light is, I think makes this picture and I, and I really like it.
So you can see the sun has sort of came up a bit further and there's still nice long shadows, which is great, but that yellowish orange quality of that sunrise light has kind of disappeared. And now it's that harsh light with those long dark shadows uh, that, are, that are really fun to play with. This thing, I've, I've never seen one of these really before, I don't think, but I recently saw one in Dante Sisofo's video in Philadelphia. So I was like, all right, let's, let's mess around with this a little bit. And there were three kids on the, on the thing, and I just managed to get them. I mean, I took several shots to get to this point, but they were all contained within their, their little triangles. And I, I really liked the, the people in the foreground there, that girl getting buckled up and the, the enter sign kind of fills out the frame. And there's even that one guy in the corner keeping their eye on them and he's like looking up towards the kids that are bouncing on the, I don't know what it's called, but I'm really happy with this one. All the figures have their own space in the scene and it's all sort of laid out well and there's triangles everywhere. And this is cool, I'm happy with this one. And then finally, my friend Matt got onto this, uh, um, what do you call it, bull bucking bronco thing. And these kids are eating chips just in front of him. And uh, I just thought it was uh, kind of funny, these kids just chilling out eating chips. And Matt's in the background riding a bucking bronco. And maybe, I don't know if there's a juxtaposition there or just, just kind of some humor or I don't know what it was. It, I like it, I think it looks cool. So that's part one of the Balloon Festival Street Notes episode. There'll be at least one more. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough footage to make it into two more, um, but it was fantastic to have that happen literally like two blocks from my house. Yeah, it's absolutely worth it. And I am very fortunate to live so close because the parking was a nightmare for other people. Hopefully that commentary style works out okay. Uh, still figuring out the best way for me to make these videos a little bit quicker. Uh, so, so feedback is welcome. Welcome. Let me know how it is. And hopefully I'll figure out a format or a way in order to incorporate some more review type videos through the street notes. So, you know, I would like to review cameras, but go out and shoot and kind of make, uh, not necessarily a whole street notes episode, but at least add clips of street notes style videos in there while I'm reviewing the camera. Well, I guess maybe I could just do street notes and then take the clips of street notes. This is me brainstorming as I'm making a YouTube video. Uh, so yeah, we, we shall see. I need to evolve this channel. I would love to make it a little bit more um, of my income so that it would help to sustain me and allow me to keep making more of the videos. That, I feel like that would, that would be great. So anyways, I, I guess I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what your favorite photo was. Uh, drop that down in the comments. Hit the timestamp or something like that. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.